She's whispering. You're doing fine, Jean. Okay, we have our last person coming here. We're at a library at the Public Library in Parsippany giving a presentation on biofield tuning, on the cards, and on uh, meditation. You're fine. Okay, I'm just talking to these guys who are checking in. All right, thank you. My name is Alicia Baza. I am so glad you are here. I am so appreciative that you've taken the time to come spend this time with me. I promise you, you will leave at least feeling lighter, if not more. And we are going to be doing a meditation. I will be turning the lights down at one point, And if you want to, I'll probably try to move this. And then I'll be sitting over there. That is my drum. That is my favorite tool. These are all tools. All tools to help heal yourself. Know that I am a medium between the healing powers of God, of the Creator, and you who heal yourself. And I want you to know that it's not like I'm magical or anything. I'm no more special, wonderful than you guys. And that you have the power to heal yourself with intention. And I'm just kind of like a guide. All right, so I'd like to start with the angel cards. So I created a deck of angel cards. I was working at a cemetery. I'm a funeral singer. That's my main um, profession is as a, as a singer. Uh, I've always sung in the Catholic Church. Uh, I've always been in the choir. And um, I, it led me to mixing my sales background with my singing and with, with just the whole thing, doing funerals, feeling comfortable with funerals, and feeling comfortable enough to say, hey, maybe I'd like to try a job at the cemetery. I was there for a couple of years. Um, and it was a really interesting experience. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into super detail. But while I was there, I met a coworker. Her name is Jocelyn. I'll take this down. And she said, oh, Alicia, do you know your guardian angel? Now, I have been connected to my guardian angels for, forever, since I was a little kid. I've always known that they were there. I've always been able to know their presence, to kind of feel, and I knew there were six of them. And I just, and I've, all, and I've been in some harrowing times in my life, I've been in, eight car accidents and I've fallen through a roof and I've survived them all because I have these angels who guide over me now but I didn't really know past that just that I had these angels so she said do you know your guardian angel and I was like yeah and she's like no 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 do you know your guardian angel and I was like uh I guess not so she leads me over to the computer she types this thing out she goes this is your guardian angel so I found out that my guardian angel from this set of angels the 72 names of God is this one right here, he -he. and I was like, he -he. what kind of name is that? Like I know Michael, Raphael, or I know my angels who have different names, never heard of this one, but this is the one in the Hebrew language, and so I said, okay, let me look up these angels. Well, wouldn't you know, they had information over here, information over here, information over here, information over here, information over there, another information over there. I was like, oh my gosh, can we have one space where it has a lot of information about these angels in one spot? So I created this card, these cards, with information on the front and the back of each angel because I wanted a space where it all was and I wanted a place where somebody can pick up a card and say, okay, this is my angel of today because each angel has a ruling day on the back. So we're gonna talk more about the angels, but I wanna give you a little history of how these angels came to be. Where did they come from? Did they just come out of the air? So let's, let's just kind of delve um, who brought this to our attention. Who was the person who got these names, received these names? It was a rabbi in Israel in the, in the first like 100 years of BC, AD. So it's before 100 AD. His name is Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. And he lived in Galilee, that's where Jesus was from, in a time when the Romans occupied Israel. The Romans found out that he was criticizing the Romans since the Talmud, the first five books of the Torah, were forbidden to study. Yet he continued, even after his teacher was martyred. So they killed his teacher, he was mad, and he was cursing them out, those damn Romans. And so they heard that he was angry and cursing them out, and they said, all right, you next. So he's like, Ooh. So he grabbed his son, his most prized possession in the, in the Israeli, the Hebrew tradition. You know, they, they would figure that if he ran away, they would kill his son. So he and his son ran into a cave in exile for 12 years. They stood in that cave. And so God gave them a carob tree to eat from and a running stream of water to drink from, and they survived. They survived eating, praying, fasting, and reading the, reading the Torah for 12 years. That's a long time. 
So while they were there, they were sustained, I told you, blah, blah, blah. As the story goes, the prophet Elijah appeared to them to let them know, hey, it's time to come out of the cave. So they did. But when they got out, <clears throat> they saw their fellow Hebrews doing what they do, toiling the soil, eating, going to market. And they're like, oh my God. They were like freaking out. And they were so angry that they literally like spit fire at them and killed a whole bunch of them. God's like, ah, oh, no, 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 back in the cave. So for another year, they went back in the cave and God kind of like calmed them the heck down. But in that time, God gave them a lot of wisdom. One of the things was the 72 names of God. He gave them this, this like, I'm going to show you, this like chart of this chart. And it, 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 it like blends in different ways to make the 72 names. Now, consequentially, the names that come out of them are from the Talmud when Moses parts the Red Sea. So these names, these Hebrew letters from Exodus, I think it's like Exodus 14 verses 19 through 21 have immense power in them. So let's see where, so during that time, the caves were, okay. During that time in the cave, the names were revealed and the 72 names of God was born. These names came from the Talmud right in the place where Moses parted the Red Sea, Exodus 14, 19 through 21. It is a rare phenomenon. The letters of these three verses can be arranged in 72 triplets of letters, hence the 72 names of God, each name bringing with it a task by God to help us live our lives better. The harmonious blend of these letters form a basic paradigm of how God relates to the world. Together they form the composite of God, when the name is spoken, all incomplete, like if you were to say all these cards at the same time, it is said to have powers unknown, so powerful that it could even part the Red Sea. So what I thought I would do today is let you see the cards, um, well, visually. So each card has a number and the name, the name in Hebrew, and it's read this way. What the name, what the angel rank is. So there's seraphim, cherubim, choir, so that's on here. The name of the angel, so this is the, this is the angel of will and new beginnings at the, the first one. What guardian, whose guardian angel it is? So this angel is the guardian angel of those born between March 21st and 25th. And then about that person, and it's eerie, I'm going to pull all of your cards to read them to you so you can see how similar it is. And what I say is that God loves you so much that he has a guardian angel just for you and that this guardian angel is meant for your day. Now there are two guardian angels. I'm gonna read you your guardian angel. We can meet another time to get your ruling day angel. So each, most people, with a small exception of people who are in the beginning of March, have a ruling day angel and a guardian angel. So then we have a signal here, this sign here. Jesus is my main love guide, everything, my everything, and I have him on all the cards, because and it says his name in Hebrew, Yeshua because he rules over all the angels. And then there's a psalm, a Bible verse, that corresponds with this. And then, if you look on the back, how you say the name, wah wa because I don't read Hebrew. Do you, I mean, maybe some of you do. I don't. I was raised Catholic. Then, what days that this angel rules? A-H, that's a girl angel. E-L, a boy angel. So she rules over these days. And then what you need to meditate on and what it brings. So when you meditate on the name Wahewa, it brings clarity of thought. And then what Hewa's task is, and then what Hewa means. So Wahewa means the exalting of God. So let's start over here. What is your birthday? May 26th. May 26th? Okay. Um, that's, I'm a May baby too, on the 19th. May 26th. Oh, you have a pretty one. Okay, so... So yours is this beautiful one, Meveje. Show the people, the fine people on Facebook. <laughs> Meveje. I'm doing a live, facing only me. So Meveje is the 14th name of God, a cherubim, the angel of truth and liberty, the guardian angel of those born between May 26th and 30th. You are a spiritual person for a gift of decoding dreams. Life lessons learned make you wise, serene, and intuitive. You easily capture the attention of others. You feel a special bond with your angel and know that your angel brings you knowledge. Sound accurate? Okay. Psalm 9-9 is your psalm. The way you say it is Meveheh. 
The vet have rules over January 15th, April 2nd, June 13th, August 24th, and November 4th. Meditate on the name of God, Mevehe, when you need to conquer inner struggles, are oppressed or accused wrongly. God tasks Mevehe to help victims forgive, restoring hope to those who feel hopeless. He brings accuracy and precision to your life. Mevehe provides harmony. He protects you with he protects you and brings abundance. He inspires you to honor earth. Now, there's going to be times when I'm picking up a card and I'm reading it and you're going to go, oh, that's for me. Yes, it is. Absolutely. 100% for you. So if this resonates for you when I'm reading it, it doesn't matter if it's your angel or not. It's for you. These messages are chosen. There's all, we're all here for a reason. We're all here just on time and we're meant to be here together. So know that if you hear a message that sounds like it's for you or you guys, it is. Okay, Mevehe means God, the protector, and savior. All right, so that's the first one. All right, so what is your birthday? October 26th. October 26th. Let's see. I'm gonna put this. I like to keep them in order because it's easier to find the dates. It gets really, really tough when it's, it's all over the place, and i got to put them back together. You have a beautiful purple angel, Yalohe. That's uh, Y-E-L-A-H-I-A-H. And I would be more than happy to let you take a picture of your angel if you want. At the end, you may come up and I'll pull it for you. Angel number 44, a power, the angel of warriors, the guardian angel of those born between October 25th and 29th. This is my brother-in-law. You are successful at everything you do. A lover of travel, you love learning about new cultures. History is exciting to you. You have a brave heart and are loyal. Your reputation is important to you and you do not risk it for any reason. You are a smart investor and manage your money well. A problem solver and natural teacher, you are beloved and admired by others. Sound right? Except for the managing money well. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so Psalm 119.108 is your Psalm. Yellow head is a female. Rules over the following days, February 14th. May 2nd, July 13th, September 23rd, and December 4th. Meditate on the name of God, Yolohe, to be truly sorrowful for your wrongdoings. God tasks Yolohe with the ability to smooth over conflicts. So if you're having a crisis or a conflict, this is the angel that would help you with that. Yolohe encourages you to be loyal, wise, brave, and courageous. She gives you the desire to help others in the best way you can. Yolohe has the key to unlock knowledge, and I'm being told, the best outcome for everyone. So a lot of times when I read these cards, I get messages that correspond to and, and um, to add to what's on the card. So I'm not just reading the cards. When I'm sitting down for a reading with these cards, I hear messages in between that you need to hear. So somebody in this room needs to, to um, have the desire to help others and yourself the best way you can. So it's not it's a two-way street. Uh, Yelohe has the key to unlock knowledge of your past lives. She helps you get through initiations. Yelohe means God the Eternal. So this is your card. Okay. All right. What is your birthday? December 13th. Okay. December 13th. Where are you? Is that your birthday too? Somebody else's birthday? No. And if, and if there's a correlative like, oh, that's my anniversary. Okay. Then, then listen up because this message might be for you. So these all, they all have, they're, they're incredible. The angels are amazing. So you have Nunua. Nunua is angel number 53. A principality, the angel of spiritual communication. The guardian angel of those born between December 10th and 14th. And this is my cousin Danielle's uh, guardian angel. You are a smart person. Abstract science fascinates you. Being alone is never a problem for you. You love to meditate, especially to music. Meditation gives you a sense of harmony and peace. Enlightenment is an attainable goal for you. You attract others with your innocence and truth. And you have that aura of innocence around you. You really do. You just carry that. It's like almost like a Bambi kind of. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you're pure and perfect, but I mean, you just carry that. You have that Bambi look on your face. Does that sound accurate to you? Okay. She doesn't suffer fools either. Oh, I'm sure she doesn't. Well, that comes with wisdom and age, right? 
Nanua. Nanua rolls over the following days, the 23rd of February. That's my niece's, my, one of my favorite nieces. And she's so funny because she is very doughy and kind and sweet. And, you know, she won like the award for kindest student, you know, in her, in Morristown High School. So this doesn't shock me. That's, just, that's the same. And that's the thing is that each angel is given in proper order. So this is like so Julia. You know, so May 11th, July 22nd, October 2nd, and December 13th are the ruling days of this beautiful angel. And this is a, a male angel. So this kind of goes to the male doesn't have to be like, it could be like gentle and kind. It doesn't have to be a forceful, you know, Archangel Michael slaying the dragon. You know, it doesn't have to be. Meditating on the name of God, Nanua, melts away the ego, giving way to an elevated approach of life. And I love when. I say something, because I, I haven't memorized these cards. I have this crazy memory where it takes a hammer and a chisel to get the, the memory in there. But once it's in there, it's in there forever. Like, I kind of have this memory that's like, like, I don't have an easy time memorizing lines. I don't have an easy time memorizing songs. I'm always screwing up words, even that I learned when I was a kid. If I did it super repetitiously, I do. So when I say something, it's not because I read it before I know it. And the angels always kind of, like, I'll say something and they back me up every time. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. So meditating on the name of God, Nanua, melts away the ego, giving away to an elevated approach in life. So I'm just calling to when I was saying ego, angry, macho, and then they come back and talk to me. Nanua is tasked by God to help master a spiritual practice. He helps those who do not believe in spirituality. Nanua can help to learn from, help us to learn from mistakes. He protects those in fear. Call on the 53rd name of God to combat feeling alone or sad. Nanua helps us to turn around our situations. Nanua means God who humiliates the proud. So that's a beautiful one. And what is your birthday? Today. Oh, happy birthday! Oh, that's so nice. <clears throat> oh, this is good. Oh, let me tell you, you will never forget this birthday. <laughs> You will not, because this is this is a beautiful way to celebrate your birthday. So today's January tenth, right? Eleventh. Oh, so you know what? You know what? Today's my godmother's birthday. Happy birthday, Aunt Diane. <laughs> I have Facebook on over here. I'm not talking to, to the podium. <laughs> so, um, kill two birds with one stone. Today's my Aunt Diane's birthday. She's one of my favorite people in the whole world. And her daughter was one of the other cards. See the way it all just kind of like blends, and it's so funny. So you have Herehe. Herehe is the 59th name of God, an archangel, the angel of intellectual abundance, the guardian angel of those born between January 9th and 14th. And I am getting very hot. Um, you exude goodness. I am. I'm just like burning up. You exude goodness, beauty, and honesty. You have a thirst for knowledge. You are popular and respected not only for being funny, but noble. You learn about spirituality and can teach it easily. You love to explore the unknown. You have great family relationships. Sound good? Yes, right? Yay! Awesome. Your psalm is Psalm 113.3. And then Herehe rules over the following days, March 1st, May 17th, July 28th, October 8th, and December 19th. Meditate on the name of God, Herehe, when you lack ideas and know-how. So when you're stuck and you don't know what to do, you call on the name of God, Herehe, and Herehe will come to your rescue. God tasks Kareha to encourage obedience and subservience. He fosters a love and ease of learning. Kareha brings academic genius as well as common sense. Now that's good because when you have a genius, sometimes you're the dumbest idiot. You'll slam the door in somebody's face. So to have that both is like divine, right? He transforms intelligence into fortune, especially in technology. He is the patron angel of writing and publishing. Kareha means the all prevailing God. So that's, so that's yours. And what is your birthday? February 14th. February 14th. Let's see. Valentine's Day. So let's see. That means you have Manuke. And it's nice to be able to not even look at the card and know what the name is. <laughs> that, that comes with time. Manuke. And the reason why I know some of these names is because I spent nine months making these cards. It was like I sat for nine months. I even gained weight like I was having a baby. It was just, it took a long time to put these cards together and perfect them. And I, what I did was I was grabbed different information from several different, different um, websites and then took the information and turned it into my own words. So it's a combined information of a lot of different sites, like the color of the angel and the name and the number came from a certain place. And then um, 
certain dates would come from another place and certain information would come from another place and I combined them all into one spot when I made these cards. Okay, so the Minoke is angel number 66 from the Angel Choir, the angel of knowledge of good and evil. Do you sing? Or do you ever want it to sing? No? But it, you want to, because I'll get, you, but you, you would have loved to have sung it in this life, yes? <laughs> Anyhow, um, the angel, guardian angel of those born between February 14th and 18th, the angel of knowledge, the angel of knowledge of good and evil. You never give up until you win with the best intentions for all. No, you are strong and unafraid. You truly listen to others. You are a positive, sentimental person respected and loved by others. You know how to tackle any situation with your spirit of fearlessness. Sound right? Oh, yeah, right. yeah. And like you can be, there can be variations. Doesn't mean like, and I find a lot of times the ruling day angel is even more like you because that's your day. This is a bunch of people's days. So it's kind of be a little bit broader where if you look at your ruling day angel, you're like, oh yeah, that's me, 100%. And a lot of times that happens. So that's okay. Psalm 38, 21. Menoke rules over the following days, March 8th, May 24th, August 4th, October 15th, and December 26th. Meditate on the name of God, Menoke, to learn how to fight your fears. God tells Menoke to harmonize the body and soul. Stability, harmony, and confidence comes when you call on the 66th name of God. Menoke helps us to understand and transcend fear. Menoke helps us to understand dreams. Minoke means God who nurtures everything. Do you find you're a nurturer? Do you have a nurturing no. spirit? No? Okay. And, and, and you know the funny thing? The, the funny thing is a lot of times what is on the card may be something that you need to work on. And it's, and it's a message that you can. Okay? All right. What's your birthday? Uh, March 27th. March 27th. Oh, you're number two. Yes. Yaloye. La yoya, la yoya, la yoya. Yaloye is the second name of God, is a seraphim, the angel of love and wisdom, the guardian angel of bo those born between March 26th and 30th. You are not a patient person. Is that, is that right? Yeah, the 27th. Yeah. yeah. You are not a patient person. You love to do everything yourself. <laughs> you love to get it done fast and right. Seeing others stuck upsets you. In spite of your impatience, you are a friendly, amicable person. You are curious about your destiny and look for answers. You easily see lessons in your hardships. You are wiser because of the lessons learned. You rely on your intuition. Okay, Psalm 3, 4. Yeloya rules over the following days, January 3rd, March 21st, June 1st, August 12th, and October 23rd. Meditate on the name of God, Yeloya, to restore love in your life. God tasks Yeloya with bringing love. He helps with relationship problems. He restores love and passion into your marriage or other relationships. He helps us when we are in difficult situations. Yeloya shows us how to restore and keep harmony in our relationships. He teaches us how to create inner peace and calmness. Yeloya means the helping God. So that's your, your, and your birthday? April 4th. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Sal. April 4th. All right, so let's see who your guardian angel is. Your guardian angel is, oh my gosh, the next one, Satoya. <laughs> Satoya is the third name of God, a seraphim, the angel of construction of the universe and its worlds, the guardian angel of those born between March 31st and April 4th. You are a friendly, creative, and a great believer in destiny. Sometimes your pride stops you for asking for help. You are honest and speak your mind. A great strategist, you are inspired to dream more. And take lessons, you take lessons from life and apply it to your dreams. Your psalm is Psalm 91-2. Satoya rules over January 4th, March 22nd, June 2nd, August 13th, and October 24th. Meditate on the name of God, Satoya, to create your own reality and miracle making. God tasks Satoya to help our projects and our businesses grow. Satoya is a master planner and the patron of strategists and planners. He helps us to be honest, see the mistakes we've made in the past, as well as how to avoid them in the future. He inspires faithfulness to our word. Satoya helps gain favorable negotiation. He helps us build our inner and outer selves. Satoya means the God of hope. Does that sound accurate? Okay, good, awesome. And last but not least, what's your birthday? November 26th. 
November 26th. Okay. Let's see. Oh, almost. I keep getting to like the almost one. Oh, you have Danua. That's my husband's name is Daniel, but it's Danua in, in uh, Hebrew. Danua. Danua is angel number 50, a principality, the angel of eloquence. The guardian angel of those born between November 25th and 29th. You are a merciful person. You execute tasks with finesse. You are a great communicator. People open up to you and trust you. And you do have a very trusting face. <laughs> Sorry. That's a good thing. Um, you communicate your point of view with the other person in mind. Business comes easily to you. A great leader, you manifest through speech, song, and art. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Psalm 145, 9. Danua rules over February 20th, May 8th, July 19th, September 29th, and December 10th. Meditate on the name of God, Danua, to keep your eyes on your goal. Danua is tasked by God to help us see things clearly and to accept them with grace. He helps us to make relevant decisions. He guides us to be tactful in any situation, even in disagreement. Danua gives inspiration when burdened with many things. He shows us how to manifest through actions, speech, and music. Danua means God the merciful judge. So for all those, if you're interested in seeing what your ruling day angel is, um, that might be something we can do at another time or later. But we're going to go into, look at that perfect timing, go into our meditation now. So we are going to shut the lights. You can leave the, yeah, we're going to shut the lights and go into it. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I'll see you later.